Hey, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome back with Tea with Tisa, but y'all, this is a trap house talk. Remember how I did the video about the streets for saying uh, Simon's broke? Well, guess what, y'all? I'm the streets. It's me. I'm the one saying Simon's broke. Yo, your girl was bored. Your girl had some time. Your girl's just a little bit mashy. Shout out to Cali Stamps. And I actually got some receipts. Yo, something's going on with Simon. And dare I say, I think Porsche's being scammed. In this video, I'm gonna get into the receipts. Oh, also, I found out Simon's middle name. I don't think, Tor from my other video, you know I don't think Portia has it tattooed on her, but I did find out Simon's name and so much more. Y'all, let's get into the mess. Y'all know the vibes, this is YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me with the algorithm. Do what you guys can. I want to do this full time. But anyway, let's get to the best. Most importantly, I want to learn some editing things so I can stop doing my fade outs like this and ducking underneath the counter. Y'all saw that it kind of upgraded. I'm going to have screen captures so you see what's going on. But y'all, if you can, if you like the video, if you like any of my videos, I'm happy you're here watching. But do what you can and I would appreciate it. All right, with no further ado, let's get into the mess. Okay. First thing, so remember the make-believe fantasy tattoo that Portia swears she has? She might, it might be henna, I don't know. They're just trolling at this point, but everybody was curious about what's Simon's middle name? Well, your girl was digging through, doing a little research. His middle name starts with an I, it's spelled Y-I-O-R-E. I'm gonna put it up here, right? That is his middle name. I think it's Iori, Iori, if anybody um, is Nigerian or is familiar with that name, can you let me know in the comments how to phonetically pronounce his name? But you guys, middle, the middle name is important because when we start digging into Simon's like shady, shade, shade stuff, it gives you a clearer picture about who he is. It also makes sure that we are talking about the same person. Just to let you guys know, this has been verified. I literally found out Simon's first wife's name, second wife's name, third wife's name. Yes, we are going to where all the bodies are buried, Iori. So let's talk about Portia's billionaire sugar daddy, love of her life, come up, Simon Iori Gu Guabadia. All right, first thing, let's talk about the home, then him, well, not him and Thelma, but let's talk about the home that he sold. Okay. First, we have to set this field for Simon, right? Why he's giving scammer vibes and why there's proof that scammer vibes. First, let's talk about the housing situation, right? Now, Phelan and Simon said they got married in 2019. You feel me, right? Up until then, right? Simon had all bought this house. I don't want to dox anyone, so I'm not going to give um, actual addresses, but trust this has been verified. I have my receipts up and down, right? Now, Simon moved into this house um, in 2000, April 27th of 2017. Now, it was a very modest six bedroom, seven bath house. All right. I know what y'all saying. That's not modest. I'm being facetious, right? But it was a nice six bedroom, seven bath house. He bought it on April 27th, 2017. He actually bought it by mortgage and the house was in his name. I say was, right? Because between 427 and 2017, follow me on this, and 914, September 14, 2020, which is that when the house was sold, he married Phelan in June of 2019 by their own records, right? It was sometime in mid 2019. He married Phelan, Fallon, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Now, oddly enough, uh, March 13th of 2020 is when Simon moved into the house you now see, which is what everybody considers his current house on Real Housewives of Atlanta. He got married in June of 2019 and they moved into that house March 13th, 2020. I want you to also keep in mind that this is common. We've always accused housewives of doing this, but we never had proof. Salmon upgraded his house to the current seven bedroom, 10 bathroom, right? Seven baths, three half baths, abode we currently see with his backyard grotto. This was an upgrade, but y'all, this was an upgrade where you literally buy a house to move in right before filming starts. Why was this just a, a, a fame grab, right? Because if you look at property records, he did buy it, right? 
but he put it on up for sale May 25th of 2021. May 25th of 2021, as you guys know, he officially listed it for sale. Now we know that Simon gave Fallon 30 days to vacate the property, right? Okay, fine. However, the other house wasn't sold until September 14th of 2020. He literally left one house and upgraded into another. Now, I know what you're saying. Okay, so he's crafted with real estate. We're not debating on whether Simon has more money than me and you. We are debating on whether this little billionaire playboy, you know, uh, uh, Prince Zamunda, Eddie Murphy, Akeem coming to America man that has lived in Atlanta all his life, has the money that he says he does and whether Portia is being scammed. Y'all, I don't know about you, but rich people and wealthy people, because y'all always like to say, oh, they do real estate. They hold on to assets. There is no way in the world that you move into a house, right, on the 13th of in March of 2020 and then vacate, move out of the house, right, Actually, not even a year later because he tried to kick Phelan out of the house earlier. It's just that it got put up for sale in May 25th. You haven't even gotten your equity back. What is the rush? Why couldn't you let her stay longer? I'm guessing it's the same reason why with when you guys sold a property property and made a profit of 157000 I talked about them in my other video. A lot of what you guys aren't missing is he agreed to pay her her portion of the profit profits in two payments right two payments of fifty thousand dollars what does that immediately let me know one Simon's cheap because why are you making this girl get out in 30 days and you know she has three kids honestly and for you to even say oh well she got her own money y'all when you get to that level of wealth it's not about money per se and if Phelan has her own money good for her but you guys will know it's not about the level of money you have. It's the convenience. Yeah, I might have a bajillion dollars, but to actually have to relocate my family and find a place to stay in under 30 days, nah, it's convenience. It's convenience. You hear, that's why rich people are even arguing over who gets to keep the house and how long they get to stay in the house. He wanted that up for sale because you guys, I'm going to put the other stuff up. It's coming. The big bang stuff is coming. But just keep in mind this narrative that Simon bought that house for filming. He moved in in March 13th, 2020. That is literally a month before filming for Real Housewives of Atlanta actually started. And as soon as it was clear that Fallon was not going to get a peach because Portia might have blocked it, right? Because there's no other reason why she wouldn't be on, right? And Portia is the star of the show. I can't say here being like, I don't want this. The reason why when Fallon was clear that Fallon wasn't going to get a peach, he dumped Fallon filed the divorce papers, plan to put that property up, put that property up on sale and promptly propose to Portia. Y'all keep an eye on this, where Simon lives in America. He does have property under his name, but it's no big property. It's like a little apartment in the, a, a part in, on Bedford Ave in Brooklyn. There's something in Miami. There's something, um, a, 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 an apartment in downtown Georgia. But again, Again, this is all going to add up. Anyway, so keep this in mind. He moved into that uh, house with the intention of flossing for real housewives of Atlanta. All right, now let's move to the juicy part. Y'all, okay, so everybody asks, who is Simon, right? Remember when we were introduced to Simon? And y'all keep this in mind because this might be why Phelan's staying so quiet because she does not give a damn because she knows that Simon's little scammer was over inflating what he had and she wasn't walking away from much. But if she opened her mouth, it's going to make her look like a little scammer too. But Simon, a successful businessman, Simon ser currently serves the position of Chief Executive Officer of Simcoe Petroleum Limited Company LLC since January 2007. Not only this, right? Let me finish. Not only this, but he is also the CEO of KLC Petroleum Transport LLC. Apart from this, Simon is a social worker and a philanthropist. Okay, all right, all right. What else can we know about our boy Simon? Um, he's a famous Nigerian American businessman. Y'all, he does not come from oil money. Family Simon keeps his parents anonymous, but I Googled all the Nigerian oil families that are associated with the Goa Badia name. Simon, no. Anyway, keep going, right? 
He's an Ameri Nigerian American businessman, philanthropist, automobile collector, investor, social media influencer, producer, and entrepreneur from Benin, Nigeria. He's also famously known in the country for his luxurious life and multiple businesses. Let's talk about the multiple businesses, right? Because this is the important part. Simcoe Petroleum Limited Liability Company. It is registered in California, right? Um, the agent address is, of course, I'm not gonna dox anyone, but the, agent, the agency address um, lines up with what Simon said. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, right, um, you have to be um, registered, even if you're a foreign country, you have to be registered with the American government for tax purposes if you are importing or exporting anything. Also, if you are a person doing business in America, whether or not this is your headquarters, there still needs to be a registered office, right? What is the status of this business? Now, the type is a distributor of full fuel. The, the, the status, if you notice, is suspended, forfeited. Y'all, that, com that, that, um, that company status that he got as a limited liability company for Simcoe Petroleum, which is supposed to be where he gets all his money from, it's, in, it's been suspended or forfeited, which means it's not a valid LLC. It's no longer active, right? Now, Simon was, why am I calling him Simon? Let's call him Iori. Iori was, right? Eeyore. We'll call him Eeyore, right? From Winnie the Pooh, right? Okay. E Eeyore was a registered agent for that company in Georgia, right? He's also registered in, uh, agent for Simcall FM LLC. I'll put this up here for you guys to see, right? Um, however, however, ever, the entity status is, it's non-compliant. Right now, the entity status is non-compliant. Why are you non-compliant? You either haven't submitted the paperwork or, 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 to actually be registered, right? You have to pay certain fine, not fine. You have to pay certain dues. You have to pay certain fees and you have to keep them up year after year after year. Y'all, Simon's not keeping them up. I know what y'all saying. Oh, ah, 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 ah. But this is for regular people. Regular people, we don't pay our bills. Somebody that's worth 40 million, right? Worth 40 million, they should be keeping the bills, right? Um, he's also a registered agent for Simon Productions LLC. Remember that whole thing about him being a filmmaker, right? What's the entity status for that LLC registered in Georgia? It is, they are non-compliant with the registration. They are non-compliant with that registration too, right? Now, Simon's also that registered agent. So right now we have his production company and he, we have a Simcoe oil import-export. They are not registered in America. They are not allowed to do business in Atlanta, um, in, um America and the reason they are not currently active is because either he didn't pay his dues, he didn't keep pay up, keep up with the paperwork, or it was actually revoked because of some wrongdoing or mis something happened, but it was his fault, so they revoked it. Y'all, it's not over. Um, Simon is also registered as a CEO for Sports Management Group in Georgia, right? He is registered as a CEO for Sports Management Group in Georgia. So I guess he was trying to get into that Jay-Z game. Remember when I said he's giving me like, okay. However, what is the status of that corporation that he established? It's to be dissolved. So what you don't know about corporate laws, you just can't make a corporation go away. You have to do certain procedures for it to be resolved, right? It's called liquidation of all assets to pay the creditors if there are any. And then the remaining, um, uh, uh, I guess investors in the corporation, stockholders in the corporation will split what's left after the bills are paid. Y'all, Simon has already started and it's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. It happens over time. They do this for anybody that the corporation owns money to can get money slowly by slowly. The corporation's already being dissolved. So they've already said it's no longer an entity and now they're just doing the legal framework to get dissolved. What else is Simon up to? Simon is registered as chief financial officer for Simcoe Lifestyle Incorporated. It is also in Georgia. Now, you guys, I want you guys to know, I checked on Simon's business all across America. So I'm talking about America, right? The continental and, of course, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, all this stuff. That's what I'm talking about, right? Now, 
It is all, now mind you, all these businesses are registered to the same address. I Googled the address on Google Maps. I don't wanna dox anybody, but this is definitely legit, right? Um, it is a corporation. What is the status? The status is, yes, it's active, but it is non-compliant. That means when you are active or non-compliant, you have not been keeping up with your dues. You have not been keeping up with your paperwork. You have not been even keeping up with your tax filing. It's basically what people say when, it's a, it's a shell company. You set up an LLC, but then you never do anything with it. That's what it is in non-compliance non because most people don't bother to, to submit, right? Uh, paperwork and IRS paperwork when the company's not doing anything, even though technically, even if it says zero. Now, why is this relevant? For one, Simon, all these things that Simon says he does to get money are not active in the US. And we'll get to that in a second, why that's so important. But also too, if you are getting money, if you are a businessman, if you're not just playing pretend and not just a scammer and a hustler, you have lawyers, you have accountants, you pay people to take care of this stuff because this is the business that pay you and you cannot mess up your taxes. You cannot mess up your payroll. You cannot mess up your corporate compliance, right? Simon is also registered as chief financial officer for Simco Group, right? Um, this is a corporation, right? It is active. It is active, right? But he owes current year ARs. Your current year ARs are, um, it's dealing with financial, it's dealing with paperwork. It's basically saying like, listen, you are active, but you are behind in your paperwork. You are non-compliant. Again, who has a stream of lawyers? Who has a stream of accountants? Who is a $40 million person that is like, this is giving me hood scammer vibes all day. Let's go on and then we'll wrap it up to talk about why this is all relevant, right? Um, he's also, he's registered as CEO of Some Cold Lifestyle. Again, this is active non-compliance. He is a uh, registered uh, secretary for Simco Group Georgia. Um, that is uh, non-compliant as well. For those of you guys that don't know when you set up corporations and stuff, when you don't have an actual team, you put your name on as the CEO, as a CEFO, as this, that. You just need one additional person registered for it to actually be a corporation. This is what very small time people do. And Simon was worth 40 million and he had an actual company. He would have a CFO. He would have a CEO. Nobody is CEO and CFO of 40 million. He would have accountants. He would have an actual treasurer. He would have a secretary. The board, the, 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 the board positions that you need to actually incorporate a company it wouldn't just be some legal Zoom shit. He would actually have people to do this. Now, let, I'm gonna quickly go through the rest of the stuff, right? He's registered as a secretary, I told you that. He's registered as a CEO for Simco Lifestyle, also non-compliant. He's registered as a secretary, also not compliant. He's registered as a CFO of the Ken Ford Foundation. That's a nonprofit, that is not compliance. Um, he is a, a, a registered as a CEO for Simcoe Group Incorporated. Uh, that is, he owes the current year AR, I said that. He is registered as the manager for Simcoe Petroleum Limited Company in Nevada. Y'all, does anybody else work for Simcoe? Simcoe, I think, is just a friend. That's not where Simon gets his money. Simon, at best, is a trust fund kit that, is, that his parents have him on allowance. At worst, he is a scammer, and he trades into the fact that people can't really confirm things with Africa because it's too far away. And also, you know how it is in America. That's how most scammers go. You go and splash around money, and all of a sudden, everybody believes that you're rich. I do remember a while ago, I was watching Funky Dineva, right? Yeah, I love Funky Dineva. Him, Rodney the Voice, Erica De Niro, mwah, chef's kiss. So I was watching um, Funky Dineva, and he was like, when he was talking about like Portia when she first announced it, and he was like, why does she do this? And then I remembered his comment that just stuck into my head. That's what got me investigating when I was like bored. When he was like, yo, quiet is this kept? right? There's a lot of Africans walking, I'm paraphrasing, walking around in Atlanta that y'all think are rich and they're not. And that includes Simon, but let me mind my business. That's what he said. And I was like, huh, let me go investigate this. Now back to Simon's many, many companies, right? He's manager, he's registered as manager for Simcoe Petroleum a Limited Company in Nevada. Um, uh, and he is uh, inactive. It's all inactive. Um, and the status was actually revoked 
in Nevada. They took away his status to actually even run a company in Nevada. It didn't, it's not in non-compliance. It wasn't forfeited for the fit of meetings. He said, never mind, I don't want it. It was revoked because he was not in compliance so much. They just took that shit back, right? Simon is also the chief executive officer for Simcoe Petroleum Limited Company in Texas, okay? I know it sounds like I keep saying Simcoe, but he has Simcoe registered all over the US where he's the CFO, the CEO, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Y'all, it's given scammer vibes. Y'all, I think Porsche is really getting scammed, right? Um, what is the status of that? It is inactive. It's inactive. So he registered in Texas and this company is actually inactive. Um, what can I say? Simon's cars. We did a national title search to see what cars Simon actually has. Simon has a 2011 Land Rover. I'm not going to dox anybody, but just know he has a 2011 uh, Range Rover. He has a 2011 Mercedes Benz S Class. And he also has a 2012 Mercedes Benz GL Class registered in 2012. Y'all, Simon might have that car. He might have the Bentley. He might. That shit's not in his name. What does this let you know? For all you girls, this ain't for your nine to five people, but for all of y'all girls that might have dated scammers, dope boy, those credit card boys running up racks in Neiman Marcus, y'all, what does it mean when somebody's car isn't in their name? Yeah, what does it mean? And I know what you guys are saying. No, 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 but it could be in the business's name, ba, 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 ba. Listen, just let you guys know when you do that stuff, unless it is primarily used for business purposes, that is considered tax fraud, right? We'll get into that. It is. So when you put a car in a business name or the truck, it needs to be primarily used for business or it is tax fraud. You were trying to hide something in a business so you don't have to pay the actual taxes for it and it's not counted technically as your assets. Simon, it's not used that little thing that he was riding Jessica Rabbit around in um, for uh, business purposes. We know that, right? We know that. So because, and when I say used primarily, it will be transporting goods and services for the business, whether that is um, clients, whether it is just going to business meetings, whether it is putting few cans of oil in the back seat. That's what they mean by business stuff. That's what they mean by business stuff. So you guys... At tax purposes, Simon shouldn't be doing that, especially when he has $40 million. He knows not to play around with that. But y'all, what does it say when somebody, for whatever reason, doesn't have their own personal car in their name? And I don't want y'all to be like, oh, but Simon's just good with money. That's what rich people do. Rich people do not have a bunch of dummy shell corporations set up that they're all inactive. Simcoe is not active. That means that Simcoe is actually registered in the U.S. That means that there is no business that he can do between the U.S. and his import oil export thing and actually claim that money as a U.S. citizen without paying taxes. If he paid taxes on that thing, that's why he registered the corporation, he would have to register the corporation as a business and he would have to be paid as an employee, as a stockholder, as what? So that means at best, if Simon's keeping all his money offshore, he's what? Allegedly, maybe playing loose. I don't want to say tax fraud. I don't want to start rumors, but he's playing loose and hard with the American tax code or, 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 or that's not really where he gets his money from. And he made that shit about his business and Simcoe, just like he made up his thing about his background and what he did and what he does, you know, because the production company, again, what does it say that somebody wealthy has to hide their money offshore? Jeff Bezos, may hide 70%, not even hide, but may have 70% of his money offshores. But I guarantee he has houses and cars and all that shit registered in his name. Any rich person does. Because when you are dealing with that level of money, right? I'm gonna get into that in a second. It doesn't matter if you have to pay a few extra dollars on taxes for a car. You see what I'm saying? It's like us driving around for six hours to get the dollar store, literally missing six hours and spending $50 in cash to get to the dollar store where we could have just walked in Target and maybe paid 10 cents more, but it just wasn't worth our time doing all those gymnastics. Not even to mention what you guys are asking Simon to do is illegal and people with money don't really pay play around with that scammer things unless they're rich like the way Trump is, right? All right, 
right? So what does Simon's family do? I've been trying to research Simon. I know it's not oil money. It is money. I'm trying to see what it is. And if he's going this much to keep his name off of stuff, it makes me, and when I say off of stuff, I mean about the money you get what pays you. It is on that house, but trust fund kids always get a house. They get a nice car. They get an allowance. But you need to understand that when the parents want to pull that stuff out, they'll tighten the purse strings to, um, control you a la Candace, right? Not saying Candace is on Simon family's level, if Simon's family is on a level. Let's look at also, Simon contributed 500 to Obama for America in 2011. He contributed another 500 to Obama in 2011. Oh, this is important, right? Um, he, okay, again, he's listed as chairman, CEO of Simcoe Group in Atlanta. Ch Simcoe Group in all generation, whether it is oil, whether it's export, whether it's lifestyle, whether it is a sports illustrate, uh, sports illustrate, the sports thing, they are all either enacted or have they been revoked. Simon has no legal business in the US, which is why maybe him and Portia are over in Nigeria. I see Simon flexing with the private jet, but like Rodney the Voice said, Kenya hired a private jet. When you are working at that money, to buy a private jet is like what? What, honestly, 79,000, depending on how old, maybe 200,000, depending on how old or new the jet is. This could be a family jet that they let them borrow that all you need to do is fuel it up. And it is very, very common in rich families or well off families, hopefully that money's legal, right? That there is one private jet where all you have to do is pay for the price of fuel. And oftentimes the price of fuel is less than the price of a first class ticket because we all know no matter what you said Portia Williams can't be flying coach do you feel what I'm saying you feel what I'm saying lastly to Mac wrap it up um yeah Simon owns a few properties in Georgia but I did I don't want to dox his wives but a lot of those properties either his family or his ex-wives or especially the mother of his children that lives in Georgia his boys that he's all has on Instagram right now um, she also lives in Atlanta. That house was purchased. It's a very modest house. So let me also tell you something too. If Portia thinks that she's actually getting money from Simon, she is sadly mistaken. Let me tell you something. That house that Simon bought his, um, kid's mom, maybe they bought it together. I don't know. They literally bought it for like a little bit under a hundred thousand. The property value increased. They did it way, way back in the day, right? The property value increased, but basically she's living in a regular smuggler at right now. That house is worth $270,000. Again, great, right? I'm not shading anyone that cannot, but we need to understand what we've been talking about with Simon. Y'all, Simon's scam on Portia. And just like Portia found out with Dennis, all the glitters is not gold. So she can keep saying she's having three weddings and a funeral for the haters and doing all this stuff. But y'all, I'm actually really worried for her. If you guys do believe in tarot, I did a tarot reading on her a while back and it actually literally predicted a lot of this shit happening. I am worried for Portia. Simon is a scammer. He doesn't get his money from Simcoe Oil. Everything he put on the internet to announce him to the world for Real Housewives was a lie. He bought that house, right? He bought that house um, to at, he bought that house to actually front for Real House of Atlanta. And as soon as he didn't need it anymore, he sold that house because they can film the Porsches. Y'all keep an eye out for Simon actually living in Porsche's house until they find a place. I'm being dead ass serious. Dennis had his little bachelor pad in, in downtown Atlanta. I was like, I'm not moving, but keep an eye for Simon to actually be living in Porsche's house. Y'all. It's getting serious, and that's all I'm going to say. Let me know in the comments what you think of Lior, Eeyore. Let me know what you think about everything in the comments. I would love to hear your input. I'm doing as much more research as I can to actually find out some information about Simon's actual family. I have a few things. I'll put that in a different video. I have not been able to verify it, so I don't want to start gossip. But just know the shit that you see. I blacked out some stuff because I don't want to dox anybody. This includes Eeyore, Mr. Eeyore, Leor, Simon, um, Guabadia. I don't want to dox him either. You guys do not say send hate to anybody because of this. But I'm just saying, y'all, the math ain't mathin'. And you know why? Because we were trying to make one, wondering how one and one equal five. Girl, Simon doesn't. Woo, you heard the video, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.